I'd like to show you how for about £30 you can make your own laser show that you can carry around with you. Uh, what we've got here are all items that have been bought from the internet. Um, starting off with uh, a green uh, laser pointer from Deal Extreme. That'll cost you about £10, that's $20. Uh, we've got a, a Radio Spares project box, part number 504710. Um, that's what everything's going to go into. We have a couple of little motors. These are from Pages. These particular ones don't have the weights on, but they have a nice little mounting clip which will make our lives a bit, a bit easier later. We've also got a 20mm cable gland which we're going to modify to actually mount the laser in and by doing it this way we can always remove the laser at a later date and use it separately. The last item, major item that we need is this plastic mirror which again you can buy from eBay very cheaply, um, easy to cut with a knife and very easy to use and what we're going to turn this all into is something that looks very much like this. This is the um, laser show and I'll just give you a quick view of what it does and let's get on with the making. Modifying the cable gland. First thing that you need to do is to get rid of the uh, bit of rubber inside here because that uh, makes it too small to use. We'll then use a step drill to uh, drill the outer part uh, to accept the laser pointer and also once the rubber is out of there you can use it again to drill the other part out which allows you to just push it onto the end of the laser pointer and as you can see it uh, sits there pretty easily. The next thing you need to do is again using the, um, the step drill is to drill out your box so that you end up with the cable gland in the end like that. To make the mirrors what you need to do is to take your piece of plastic mirror from eBay, cut a strip off the side using a hobby knife about 8 millimeters wide and then what we'll do is we'll cut this into squares. At this stage you don't need to worry about damaging it because it does have plastic coating on just to protect the surface until you're ready to, to use it. Once you've cut these off what you'll do is if you've got a pin vise we'll need a 1 millimeter drill in there and just drill in from the back part way through the plastic at a slight angle and then what we can do with that is we can stick it onto the motor. Uh, the next part of the uh, presentation here is going to be just a few photographs to show the assembly as we go. At this stage all you need to do is run a couple of wires out to a battery and a switch and you've got something that will work. I took it a little bit further. Uh, I had an iPod docking station that I wasn't using for anything in particular and from it I got uh, the switch and the volume control with the circuit board attached, all the circuitry taken off of it, just use that to turn both motors on and the volume control actually controls the speed of one of the motors to get the various different effects. The other thing I use, which uh, came from the docking station down this side here, is a cut down um, battery holder from the docking station. Uh, so it's all self-contained, no wires hanging around, just makes things just that a little bit easier. Okay, let's turn it on and uh, see what we get. Now what I'm going to do now is just tilt it to the side and you'll see the pattern change. And just as you turn it around, you get different patterns. I projected this last night uh, onto the trees about 50 meters from me and got a really clear picture even with 5 milliwatts. Just think what it would do with 30. Hope you enjoy it.